Good day everyone, this is your European Open Briefing for Monday, July 4th. Uh, my name is Michael Florentiades, I am the Chief Economist here at XM.com and here are the points you should be uh, focusing on this morning. First of all, Australian elections result in a hung parliament, look like resulting in a hung parliament. The consequences, however, are unclear. There were some worries at the beginning of the session, not so clear right now, so we are waiting on that front. We also have the markets, I think, fo focusing on the positive side of Brexit for now, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, today is expected to be quiet ahead of the Independence Day holiday in the US. Financial markets will be closed in the US, that is uh, stock markets and uh, bond markets. Of course, uh, foreign exchange will be open. And we have the Centix investor sentiment in the Eurozone to focus on, UK construction PMI. And may I remind you that we need to keep in mind that this week is very important as we have the Reserve Bank of Australia tomorrow and also US jobs on Friday. Looking at uh, the Aussie, uh, a currency that we have not looked at uh, in a few days as uh, the, all the focus has been on the pound and the other majors. The Aussie has been doing quite well uh, recently. It capped lower in Monday's open but then rebounded to above uh, 75 US cents as news were coming in about the possibility of a hung parliament following the federal elections down under. Overall, uh, the Aussie has been doing well post-Brexit. However, fears about political instability and policy stalemate were alleviated when Moody said it would not cut the country's AAA rating, the country's much prized uh, highest uh, rating possible, highest credit rating possible. It saw the current political uncertainty as short term. It didn't say, it didn't uh, see a lot of political risk from the elections, policy risk rather than to jeopardize the budget and fiscal policy. Now, the RBA is meeting tomorrow and it is not expected to change rates. However, due to Brexit and if there is a weakening uh, global environment, there could be uh, rate cuts further ahead. So interesting there about the Aussie it turned a bad situation into a good one with the elections. Further on, the pound dollar seems to be stabilizing after breakfast, as the Brexit sentiment is still bearish, of course. Uh, instead of austerity, the UK Chancellor now saying that uh, corporate tax rates should be cut. Interesting uh, that uh, few days ago he was talking about spending cuts and tax hikes. So the, I am saying this because it shows the uncertainty and the danger of listening to the politicians too much right now as the situation is quite fluid. The candidates for the leadership of the Tory party, which are also candidates for the private post of prime minister in the UK, they are in no hurry to push the Article 50 button. However, a new Prime Minister by September 9, after the party membership vote, uh, could uh, speed things up on that front. Now, it's interesting to notice that uh, here I have juxtaposed uh, the performance of uh, gold and, um, and the S&P 500 futures. You will notice, like, right in the aftermath of uh, Brexit, we have uh, plunging uh, S&P 500, the orange line uh, falling quite sharply, whereas the purple line going up very, very suddenly, uh, gaining uh, very quickly. So this was the reaction as expected in the immediate aftermath of the Brexit vote. However, as the days, uh, in the following days and after the after the S&P 500 uh, bottomed out, we saw that it has been rising uh, quite well. Last week was one of the best weeks for the US stock market uh, for, uh, I think, uh, nine months, around uh, eight or nine months. So, 
uh, what is uh, happening uh, here after the 29th in the past few trading sessions gold and the S&P 500 have been going up in lockstep it should also be noted that safe haven bonds are also doing very well in this situation so how can this be possible risk assets to be rising together with the safe haven well the market seems to be waiting for a lot of stimulus right now in the form of more quantitative easing lower interest rates and it is taking a bit of a sanguine view on the impact of brexit because we don't know actually what's going to happen we don't know what uh, deal is going to be struck between the uk and the eu so we are in a wait and see uh, mode again i think it's a bit sanguine on my part uh, on the market's part uh, this view but this is what is uh, propelling uh, both safe havens and risk assets higher in the past few trading sessions uh, calendar today is uh, not too busy we have uk construction pmi Eurozone Centix uh, investor sentiment should see a drop and we also have Eurozone producer prices for May. It will be quiet uh, particularly in the afternoon because of the US Independence Day holiday and tomorrow we are getting the Reserve Bank of Australia meeting no change uh, there and we also have the very crucial uh, jobs numbers uh, for June they will be released on Friday. I may I remind you the very bad uh, job numbers we got the previous month. So May's numbers were very bad, by like 38,000. They were a big disappointment. So it will be interesting to see what's going to happen at the end of this week when June numbers are announced. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.